what else is in the news? So, months and months ago we learned from the World Trade Organization, WTO, that Iraq had fulfilled all its obligations under the process for full accession. They then told us it was held up because they needed the investment law from Iraq, meaning they need the law passed in Parliament, so we all thought at the time. But new information in today's news tells us this is not the case. What they really need is the existing investment law to be amended and they tell us today what was wrong in the old version. What the WTO needs is for the Iraqi investment law to be in line with the WTO investment law. I will quote from today's article. It is noteworthy that the Parliamentary Investment Committee justified its effort to amend some investment laws in order to attract foreign investments and capital because some paragraphs of the laws related to investment conflict with sustainable development in Iraq, including the investment law, the company's law, and others. What does all this mean? It means that for the Iraqi investment law their law was not in line with the sustainable development goals of the global order. Oh. But Iraq is telling us that the law is good for Iraq and is in line to attract foreign investors and the much-needed capital to rebuild the economy and cities. Is that not the goal of it? But the WTO under the UN says the woke policies of the far leftist are more important. Remember that the WTO is part of the United Nations, UN. So go figure what is going on here. I don't want to be conspiracy theorists but if the shoe fits wear it, go back and read the UN Agenda 2021 and 2030. Folks it's all there in black and white. This is why Iraq can't yet fully be part of the WTO. They have not yet toted the line of these global policies. Remember this sustainably language is all predicated on the false narrative that we can do something about the changes of the planet, but they are natural and will happen no matter what we do. We are not necessarily the cause. In other words the cause and effect relationship of society to the planet is not like they are telling you. Don't mix having a cleaner, more livable planet with their goals. They go much deeper and it gets sinister real fast in the way they are using it to control us. They are using their climate change narrative to bring about controls that favor their narratives of how society should move ahead, regardless of the financial, economic and political burdens and consequences that country must bear. Folks this is not just guidelines but strict enforcement as they use what the countries now need to survive to bribe them into conformity. So, this investment law with Iraq is a perfect example and these warped global bullshit strikes again. But what else is in store for Iraq that we don't know about? What other globalist hoops are they jumping through to get to the reinstatement? Can you see why we are not getting the currency reform that is much needed for Iraq? Can you see now what my contact in the CBI was telling me in my call to her on Saturday in the application for the WTO versus Iraq? Now you know the entire truth of why the WTO extension is held up. Now you can see just one example that was exposed or how the UN is trying to mold and control Iraq. Oh. But if Iraq wants to benefit from the trade policies of the WTO they must conform to these other woke policies too and that is all there is to it. Is this national sovereignty? Is this freedom or conforming to some woke world government? So you tell me the new world government does not exist.